A ceasefire is broadly holding at last on the front line in East Ukraine. But at this field in the separatist stronghold of Donetsk, rebels are training for another round of clashes with government troops just in case. They're using weapons taken from their enemies in previous battles, honing their skills under the watchful eyes of their commanders, men whose real occupations just months ago were something other than soldier. Everyone worked on his own work, on enterprises, and now all people come for training because it is necessary to defend, and there is no one else to do it for us. The Ukraine military accuses the rebels of withdrawing the heavy weapons, as required by the ceasefire, but then relocating them to new positions for future assaults. The rebels deny planning any more attacks and say their weapons are the bounty of war. Residents of nearby Donetsk are taking advantage of the truce to survey the damage to their homes. Many are finding that what the shells couldn't finish, the looters could. <laughs> No one likes war. What else can I say? We used to live, work. We're alive, and thank God for that. For several days last week, Ukraine reported no fatalities at the hands of pro-Russian rebels who took arms against Kiev in April. This past weekend was one of the quietest in weeks, and Donetsk residents, like much of East Ukraine, are hoping it's a lasting quiet.